the seam side down, place it around your neck. Flat against your body, again with the seam side down. Here's where we adjust for length. You pull on the fat end so that the skinny end is about at your rib cage. Now choosing length is a very difficult step, it's a very important step, but in this part of the process, we're just trying to tie the tie properly, so we're going to skip it. We will get to it later. Now we're going to take the fat end and cross it over the skinny end. Move the skinny end over, take the fat end, cross it over the skinny end, making an X. You'll notice I have one hand holding the bottom of the X. To simplify the process, I'm going to have one hand do all the work, while the other hand just holds the center of the X. The center of the X becomes the knot, so I'm going to call the hand that holds the X, the knot hand. Choose which hand you want to be the knot hand, and take hold of the center of the X. Make sure you have a good grip and don't let go, but feel free to adjust later if you need to. Now the space between the center of the X and your neck is what I call the tie hole. It's this area here. Now there's four places we can put the tie. We can make the tie come out of the hole. We can make the tie go into the hole. We can make the tie go behind the hole. And we can make the tie go across the hole. The first step we're going to do is take the tie and make it go out of the hole. So take the tie and make it go out of the hole. I do that by placing my hand on the front of the tie and then just push it straight up through the hole. With it halfway through, you can use your knot hand to hold the bottom of the tie as you move your working hand around. Pull the rest of the tie through. Flipping it over and let it fall in front of you. Now we're going to take the tie and make it go behind the hole. So, go ahead and grab the tie, pull it over to the side, and just push it straight through behind the hole. I'm going to place it on my shoulder so you can see that the seam here is now facing out. Also take note that this part here is kind of low. Now we're going to take the tie and make it go into the hole. grab under, flip it around and push it through the hole. As I'm halfway through, I'm going to grab my pinky. It's not necessary. Just go ahead and pull the rest of it through. Again, now flipping it so the seam side is showing. Take a good look at the knot here. Feel free to give a small tug on the tie at the end of every step. You don't want it too tight, but then again, not too loose. We're now going to take the tie and go across the hole. So take the tie, pull it over to the side, and then make it go across the hole. At this point, I have a good tip for you. Before you go across the hole, put your finger right here. Again, I'm going to place the tie on my shoulder just so you can see that the face is now showing. Mm -hmm. The next step is to That's take right. the tie and make it go out of the hole again. As we do that, we're going to kind of flip it. So take the tie and kind of just push your fingers around and through. Again, as you make the tie go out of the hole, you're going to flip it over. So again, the face is showing. In future, it's at this point you may want to switch hands. But then you won't have the benefit of the tip I gave earlier. To finish, you're going to take the fat end of the tie and put it behind the across step. It's kind of hard to explain where that is, which is why I told you to put your finger there. So take the fat end and make it go right where your finger is. Again, I'm using one hand here, but at this point, it can be easier to just grab the fat end with that one finger. Either way, you're going to pull the fat end through and keep pulling until the knot is tight. As you're pulling the knot tight, make sure not to lose the skinny end. You can squeeze the bottom to help form the proper shape. Pulling the two tops apart will also help. To tighten the tie around your neck, grab the skinny end with one hand and the bottom of the knot with the other hand. And now you do a pull and slide motion. Pull on the skinny end, slide the knot. Pull, slide. Tidy up a bit, make sure everything looks nice. And now you can flip your collar down. It's at this point you should also do up the top button. Give it one more tighten, and you're all done.
Now we just need to get the proper length. And maybe a little faster. This is Tyler. Tyler, with Bremerly's help, is